I love doing that. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Dem Dude Industries, and I'm here to uh, basically show you the overview of uh, the watch party. Twitter, uh, they did a watch party for uh, Child's Play, uh, where they basically had, um, they told us that at 8 p.m. they were going to start watching it, and then we were supposed to watch along with them, and then they went on Twitter, and were basically promoting it, basically telling us facts and all of that stuff, and, uh, I actually wasn't really paying attention because I was on Instagram Live, which um, I won't be able to get to anyone, so I'm sorry. But uh, I want to give a shout out to bbt.johnny10. Uh, he was someone that I invited to my uh, my live stream, and he was just really cool to talk to, really supportive, and uh, really, uh, he was a motivational dude. I, 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 he was freaking awesome. Um, Chucky underscore boy underscore official, just for being an awesome dude. And uh, Dylan, David, uh, Chris, um, uh, freaking Chris, um, uh, Eggs and Bacon Productions, they were on there. Uh, I, it, it, it's not telling me everyone that was on there, I'm just thinking off the top of my head. But thank you for everyone who joined, you were all awesome. Uh, thanks for making the live stream just as good as it was. And Don Mancini's, Sci-Fi's, and then Alex Vincent's Twitter show you everything that they posted. I haven't read a lot of this stuff either, so a lot of this stuff, uh, I might not even know. So, Chucky and I getting ready for tonight's child's... Ooh, 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 look at that picture right there of him. That's the, uh, crystal, I believe. Fact number one, Jessica Walter, uh, Lucy Bluff, Arrested Development, was originally the voice of the doll, as the filmmakers were inspired by the voice for Mercy's McCambridge and the Exorcist after the first cut. However, Brad Dorff was hired to add more humor to Chucky. An animatronic doll was used for most scenes, but the scenes that required... Ella Britt movement, I completely butchered that, uh, we're done by actor Ed Gale in costume. Yes, Ed Gale. My boy. To achieve the height effect with Gale, the sets were built 30% larger than normal. I did, I, I did know that. Star Mancini started the script in college, amused by the shopping hysteria uh, around the Cabbage Patch Kid dolls, and decided to write a cautionary tale on a marketing to children. Uh, I didn't know he wrote it in college, so that was cool to know. So, he, you know, he's had the idea of Chucky since college, so don't don't give up on your ideas. The original script by Mancini concerned a doll that came to life to attack anyone that Andy didn't like, like a teacher or babysitter. Uh, yeah, that's why it was originally called um, Blood Buddies, because his blood was going to mix in with... Uh, uh, Andy's blood was going to mix in with the dolls, because the doll was going to bleed. And then basically, the doll, uh, it's kind of like the new remake, where, you know, anyone who upsets Andy, he's going to kill. And basically, they, they stole that from the remake, which is another reason why a lot of people don't like it. Um, but rewrites were done to make Andy more likable, with his subconscious no longer linked to the doll, the spirit of the criminal being placed into, into the buddy doll was added and said, Why did they say buddy doll? What? Why would you put Buddy right there? Are you tr what? Wait, hold why did they say good guy doll? We're ready to party. Uh, and then ooh, look at that little Chucky beanie. I have a Chucky beanie too, but mine's a brighter Chucky one. Uh, I also have that um, collector's edition. His is a little bit beat up. And then Chucky has a little Corona mask to see the Chucky doll. Oh hey, look, it's a uh, nightmare. Cool. Someone special might be dropping by. T yeah, Andy Barkley. And then I, damn, look at the Don Mancini, bro. You could tell that this was the '80s. Uh, and then I'm guessing that's Alex, uh, Alex Vincent. Wow. Everyone's like, is it Alex? But if you actually, when he first posted this, he tagged Alex Vincent in it. So everyone knew who it was before, like, it, it even happened. Sorry, copyright. I just, I like the way they, uh, it's like coming out of his mouth. I like that. Oh, that's cool. Of course, that's probably going to be my thumbnail. All the prices slash the $5. So if you want to go get it on... Well, it's free on Netflix. So I don't know why you'd buy it on Fandango or uh, Prime Video. But whatever. Hey, Chucksters. Hey, he calls us Chucksters too. Chuckster News. You know what it is. Uh, less than one hour to go. Whether you're watching along with... Fake. See, while, when he posted this, I was actually walking to the gas station to go get snacks. So that's... Uh, I didn't see any three minutes. And then there's a little behind the scenes. Ooh. That's nice. That's nice. I like that. David Kushner also produced an American Tale. Hocus Pocus. Uh, which I also directed Fight Night, and which I I think I've seen, yeah I've seen Fight Night and well Cycle Two and Cloak and Dagger. Ooh, R.I.P. Bro, R.I.P. One of the best directors ever. Made one of the best sequels to any movie, any horror movie I guess. 
Alex Vincent and Catherine Hicks are still close to this day, bro. Catherine Hicks, you need to come back at least one time for the show. I know the name Charles Lee Ray com came from three real life killers that scared David Kushner as a kid: Charles Manson, Lee Harvey Oswald, and Ch James Earl Ray. I did not know that they scared David Kushner. I knew uh, Diana Manoff and and I have the same birthday. Here we are in nineteen uh, in nineteen ninety two with fellow Chucky victims. Beth Grant actor and uh Michael Chilo. Is that the, the teacher? Yeah, that's the teacher. Oh shit. Now this is cool. I, I I love this picture. I wish I had a poster of this. I think everyone does. The incredible building in the in the Brewster in Chicago, former home of Charles Charlie Chap uh Chap Chaplin. This is the actual Brewster building in Chicago. They they used a combination of the um the building and something on set. So yeah, this is I guess this is the actual place. Movie uh and then this is a on stage set in LA with a translate backing of the building's audio. Does Chucky sleep? Find out definitely in the upcoming TV series. What? We're gonna find out if he's- What? Oh my god, are you serious? Bro, holy shit, we just got confirmation. Cause that's something that everyone's been- been wondering for years. Dude, if we're gonna find out something that simple, what else are we gonna find out? Oh my god, Don, you better not be pulling our legs. The- the title of this video, Does Chucky Sleep? Question mark. That's- that's what I'm calling this video. The explosion budget for this film was considerable. Bro, I wonder if like they had to get permission to blow up that building. Because it doesn't look like it's on a set. It looks like it's actually on a street. So I wonder if they actually blew up a building. Well, the house is in the background real. See, this guy knows what he's talking about. The original title of my script was Batteries Not Included. I knew that. Uh, more cluttered behind the garments. Susan cannot find a hanger. She folds her coat and tries to stow it on the already cluttered shelf. Then something falls off the shelf. Susan gasps. It's a small object. It falls to the floor. Susan picks it up. She holds a package of two size A batteries. The batteries for the toy store. The ones intended for Buddy. The package is unopened. Susan stares at it with confusion and, cre and a creeping alarm. Thunder and lightning. Susan swings the door shut, revealing Buddy. He's been hiding behind the door. Uh, pocket knife. Buddy jumps at Susan. Oh, man. Bro, they would be both. Remake. Bro, Don. I think it would be cool if you if you ever do a remake. Like a remake of your own. Please do the original Batteries Not Included. Or Blood Buddies. Please. That would be so freaking amazing. Just keep it going. I don't even care. It, it, it's freaking a remake of the re Like, bro. You have to bring this to life one day. You have to. When Chucky's said and done. Please, please, please bring this to life. This would be amazing. Like, why not, bro? And made poster batteries not included, yeah. Tell me in the comments, should, if Don Mancini would ever do a remake, should he do batteries not included? If they can do a remake of Fight of the, the Nightmare on M Street remake, if they can release something like that, you can release batteries not included. So, art by Don, ooh, I've seen this art before, I'll teach you to fuck with me. In the original script, Chucky attacks this, uh, the cop at the doll factory, a location we brought back for the sequel. Wait, six-year-old Alex Vincent deserved an Oscar for this scene. Alex, tell everyone the story behind this. Oh, and I, I remember when I was a kid, seeing Chucky climb up those stairs. Oh my god, there were so many things in this movie that gave me nightmares when I was a kid. Which I can't believe I, I'm able to sleep with a Chucky doll in my room. Because when I, when I was uh, little, I couldn't even sleep with the Chucky DVD. Because I would feel it looking at me. Like, I, it was crazy. So expressive here. Yes. I always think Chucky should say, Here, wear this. I have a huge fear of being electrocuted, which is why Chucky electrocutes people so often in his films. Wow, that's something I did not know. Okay, cool. Because he electrocuted the, the, the blonde bitch and freaking curse. Uh, that shot of Chucky emerging from the elevator shop from below. So awesome. Nor, I've seen this before. I actually have that comic book, so that's freaking dope. I love that. I'm actually going to keep that. We were inspired by the Terminator here. Really? Really? Bro, Bruce. Fucking my, bro, my boy Bruce, he's gonna love this. Hold on. Did Bruce comment? I, I knew you were gonna be here. Like, I, like, he's a big Terminator fan. Like, look at his profile picture. Uh, until Charles played to Andy at Alex Vincent and I have known each other for 32 years. Damn. Imagine knowing someone since you were a kid and he's the reason you have a career. That, like, that has to be the craziest thing, because it's... I actually have that, uh, that voodoo doll, actually. Ah, oh, shit. 
Uh, I do have to buy the uh, the Chucky Voodoo knife uh, I gotta get from someone, but here's my... This is from Puelta Dolls Maker. Uh, you can get a Heart of Dumbala if you want some Chucky products that are really high quality and good. Uh, check out uh, Puelta Dolls Maker. He's freaking amazing. I, I always have to promote him every time I show off his stuff. Uh, stay tuned. And then this is what I got excited for. It says, stay tuned for the upcoming sci-fi series Chucky. They're gonna show something soon, so I'm excited. I don't know. And it always yeah, 6.5k views, so people... Thank you for everyone for coming to Chucky's party. Let's do it again sometime. That's I've never seen. Oh, I've seen this before. That's freaking. Oh, uh, I I really want to do a shot like this in Vengeance. I really do. Like I can't. Oh, I, I wish I could do a shot like that. Whether he's walking in the shadow, like. And since they're hosting this, that means that something is coming out for the TV series soon. They wouldn't just be doing this for no reason. Like, and the TV show was originally going to come out in July. So that means, that means that something is coming soon. It has to be. And that's it. That's it. If you want to go follow Don Man City for all the latest news on the freaking TV series, go do that. And Don Man City, thank you for being you, man. Alright, let's go to freaking Alex Vincent now and check. Wish I was on set for the Toy Store explosion. Missed that one. Was there for the other. Man, that Toy Store explosion. I want to know if it actually blew. Like, if it's like a miniature. It has to be like a little miniature. And they, there's no way they blew up a whole freaking building. So either it was on set and they actually blew it up. Or it was a little miniature, like, set thing. Three decades later, not much has changed. Hey, I got I got my cereal box right, cereal box right there behind. Uh, I own two of them. Because I'm a, I'm a freaking Chucky nerd. Why does he have a cigarette? God damn it, Andy. I know you smoked in Child's Play too, man. Look at all those cigarettes. Oh my god. I never noticed that in this picture. Alex. Come on, man. Catherine and I had a lot of fun with this scene. We got very close. Very fast while filming. See, here's the only thing is that if you went there watching it while they were live treating this, which I wasn't really doing that, so I don't really know what scene he's talking about because he doesn't like really explain it. I uh, when I was six, I memorized this entire script 33 years later, and I'm pretty sure I still know every word. Damn. I think I dated him. Always got a good laugh in theaters. Yeah, yeah. I That that was... Okay, now I know where he is. But yeah, that was funny, because in, in, in the Instagram live, I was like, bro, this is honestly kind of funny. For a freaking deleted scene here from when I showed Chucky around my room in my train set. Deleted scene here from when... Bro, they should have kept that in. My younger sister, Ashley, was the perfect height for this scene. She got to play the doll and run down the hallway. The first time ever Chucky is seen in motion the entire franchise. She's really running with it. Starting a band called First Chucky. I was out there in the freezing cold night waiting for the stuntman to crash through the window and plummet many stories into a massive air mat was so cool. I remember it well. Never met Diana again after filming. Maybe someday. Damn, he's never met her after that? You would you would have that you would have thought they would have met at conventions and stuff. This line helped me get the part. I didn't want to say bitch in front of my mom during the audition. I pretended to forget the lines, then panicked and ran out of the room. Producers believed I forgot the lines until we explained. I fooled them. I I did read about that. But he is love that line and my delivery. Oh, uh, now you now you bragging. <laughs> you like were tough in the '80s. Didn't even get a day off school. Man, let me tell you, like kids in the '80s would probably kick the kids in this generation's asses. I believe that six-year-old Andy could kick anyone's ass in this generation. Because they would be too busy looking on the phone and Andy could just pop up and be like, POP! Everyone's favorite Andy line. I have to go tinkle. Now I was there for this explosion and it was awesome. Andy fell into a ditch right before the explosion and then pulled himself out of it afterwards. Can't remember if he shot it that way, but that was the plan. See, because I was wondering, why didn't they, like, show where Andy was? They never showed, like, Andy falling or anything, and I was like, why didn't they do that? I don't know. Uh, this is my favorite scene of the film. Catherine's awesome in it, and it scared the shit out of people. A knife comes up through the seat. Every man in the theater cringes, bro. I... Oh, my God. I feared the crying scene. Uh, I feared the crying scene. The entire production. I was so worked up. It didn't take much to get me there. Interesting side note: We ran out of film mid scene and had to reload. I kept crying the whole change. Credit goes to Margaret, my acting coach. There was a scene in the script where I utilized the remote control car to battle Chucky. It was scrapped. Oh, that would have been cool to see. Off camera line from Cameron. Hurry up, and Andy. Hurry up, Andy. That is undoubtedly Margaret's voice. Oops. This melted Chucky stalking me with a knife was the one thing they didn't want me to see. They thought it would be too scary. Nah. 
I do love this final free shot of Andy. He knows it's not over. Not by a long shot. That was the fun, everyone. Thanks for watching. Is that how he thinks of it? Because the way that I always took away from it was, you know, he knows that his life is never going to be normal now. He never knows that, you know, he had to deal with that. He, and, you know, he's, he's always going to be living in fear that he's after him or he's not really gone. Not really the fact that it's not over, but just the fact that he's going to haunt him for the rest of his life, even if he doesn't come back, because he was a kid and it haunted him. The Dill on fire here was actually Ed Gale. I could have watched this scene in person, but I didn't want to see them set Ed on fire. It was a bit much for me, and my big line turns out it was far from the end. And that's it from Alex Vincent. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Now from sci-fi, they, they just kind of said some funny stuff. His mom breakfast in his bed on his birthday, Andy is a treasure. I, pr I appreciate you. Every good guy has a backstory. When I first saw that notification pop up, I was like, Oh my god, it's something about the TV show. Oh my god, they're going to show a backstory for freaking... A kid alone on the subway and no one even blinks. The 80s were wild. That's what I'm saying, bro. The 80s were wild. We're halfway into this movie and it was 100 worth the way to reveal Brad Doris voice. Exactly. Hit, hit the brakes. At least pull over. Yeah, it's like I love how they're calling it out. Like they're calling out, like they're making fun of it, which is which is great to see. How else did John think Charles Lee Way, a serial killer, was gonna use voodoo curse? See, I I love how they're just like they're being like breaking the fourth wall in a way. And that's it for the uh all, everything there. Uh, I wish I would have been more involved, but I just went live on Instagram and I didn't. I don't know. But if they do do a child's play too, I'll be sure to be more involved and kind of treat out and everything. Uh, I was actually lucky because they did this on my day off, which I got super fucking lucky. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you learned something new. I actually learned a, a few things I didn't know, so it was, it was pretty worth it. And I can't wait for them. They have to do Child's Play 2, especially with whole, uh, John passing away, R.I.P. John Lafia. Um, they have to do Child's Play 2. And then if they do Child's Play 2, and especially Child's Play 3, because Child's Play 3 is the one movie where I don't think we have any behind the scenes for. Or at least not a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. And uh, hopefully they do this again. And keep on killing it. But don't actually kill anyone. Or Chucky's going to shove this chain down your throat. And make you choke on it.